this is the story of a horrible, scary, scary thing that could happen to anybody. I was alone in the home because I decided it was a day to do some spring cleaning. My first job was to clean the closet. Now, this is not a minor job, it's a major job. And I brought with myself uh, a trash bag and a place to fold some things. And I was going to go through everything in the closet. Now, it has it is brightly lit and easy to see. And I had just stepped in, it's about five feet by about four feet. And bam, without any warning, my door shut. I was like, great. So I didn't panic or anything. I walked over and went to open the door and it wouldn't budge. It wouldn't open, wouldn't close, wouldn't turn, wouldn't do anything. So my first thoughts are, don't panic. There's, there's got to be something you can do. After trying the doorknob, Real, unrelentlessly for about four minutes, I realized that I was in a, a little bit of a pickle because my family were all gone to work or to school, which meant that I had about seven hours before somebody was going to get there to help me. Now, people don't realize it, but in a closet, even though the weather wasn't that hot, it started getting really warm in there, very hot, and it's very stuffy. Although I must have had some oxygen because I didn't seem to have any trouble with my, ble uh, my breathing. And also, the, the you could see through the cracks the light. So... I'm looking in the closet and I'm trying to find something that I could possibly use. I first tried a wire coat hanger thinking that that sometimes can do something with a lock. After many futile attempts, I stopped and started looking around. Now, nothing I had had enough power to like pry the door until I found my old garden shovel. Now this is a metal garden shovel, only about six inches long, but I was able to squeeze it in between the door and the wall and thought that if I could move the lock or whatever, I might be able to, but that didn't work. I pulled and pulled and pulled. So panic starts to come all over you. It's just it's scary, you're by yourself. You don't know what's going to go on. And you start thinking odd things like, did I leave the stove on? Uh, is the dog, you know, downstairs okay? Uh, did they say they were going to be home at normal time? Or maybe they said they were going to go out after work. Uh, what's the weather supposed to be? What time do I get the mail usually? Maybe the mailman would hear me if I yelled. I, I, I don't know. And then, of all other things, you start where you've got to do things at normal bodily functions. And you can't because you're stuck in a closet. So you try and try and try, and I'm trying so hard to get everything, you know, I'm trying everything. I'm getting ridiculous. I'm, I pulled the pole, holds the clothes down, and I'm trying to bang on the door with that. And, and it's just, you can't get enough of a pull. It's, it, there's not enough room to, to make any leeway there. I go back to the shovel. That doesn't work. And meantime, it's, I'm very, very hot. And I'm getting, I'm starting to get sick to my stomach because I'm worried. So, I somehow or another, I fell asleep 
on the floor. And when I woke up, I had no idea how long I'd been asleep. Maybe five minutes, maybe two hours. I had no idea. By this time, I couldn't tell what time it was. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell you anything. And I was really starting to panic. I've now uh, had an accident in my pants, and I can't get out. So I'm just, by this time, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, hoping that somebody will hear me. But unfortunately, I'm in a closet to the back of the house, and nobody heard me. And so I'm, I'm going through it, all kinds of things. And about half an hour after that, to my joy, the light bulb died in the closet. I now had only a beacon of very little light, and I could tell that it was getting afternoon and the light was going down and nobody had come home. So the panic really was starting to set in. And I'm banging on the door at my side. I'm screaming, I'm yelling. But finally, at four o'clock that afternoon, my son-in-law came in and found me. And when he found me, I was covered with sweat. My blood pressure was over 200, which is extremely dangerous. My temperature was probably 100 or so, and my heart was racing. It was racing so fast that I could not count it. They wanted to, him and my granddaughter wanted to go in the ambulance. They said, let's see if I calm down, get me some water. I was, by this time, I was very thirsty. And I turned out that things went up from there, but I do not believe that had another couple hours gone, things would have gone such a good direction. This is just a warning to everybody. Be careful.